Today, we're going to be looking at the brand new ChatGPT, the brand new AI update from Google, which is Gemini 1.5 Pro. Now, this is brand new. It's only just come out. Brand new feature. They announced it on their blog on May the 14th right here. And we're going to test it out today and see exactly what it's like. Now, the way that we're going to be using this is directly inside aistudio.google.com. We're going to build out some cool tools. I'm going to show you exactly how you can use it for AI SEO. And I'm going to show you some of the best ways to rank using AI in this video. So make sure you keep watching. And um, first of all, what we're going to do is go to aistudio.google.com and that's where you can access and play around with this directly. And so from there, what we're going to do is change this to Gemini 1.5 Pro. The token count, as you can see, has a limit right here. We can change the temperature if we want to. We can add a stop sequence. We can even edit the safe settings, as you can see right here. And we've got some advanced settings here if we want to mess around with them too. So you can also see in this section right here, we have the system instructions. So what I'm going to test is we'll put one click AI SEO tool right here. And we'll put in the description tool for creating AI SEO content in one click. Hit save. And then I'm going to actually take some prompts and test them directly from my 200 chat GPT prompts. This is available in my free course if you want to get access to it. And if we scroll right to the bottom over here, we've got this assistance prompt. Now I've built GPT for assistance for AI SEO before, and I want to see and test whether this prompt right here works nicely inside Gemini 1.5 Pro. And so what I've done is actually plug that prompt right here directly inside the system instructions. So you can see, ask the user for their keyword, then do this. And basically this prompt right here is a 341 word blog. It's a 341 word prompt to generate a half decent blog post. Now you're still gonna have to manually edit. Now we're gonna test this out. So I've said, write a blog right here. And then it said, please provide me with a keyword so I can write the blog post for you. For example, if your keyword is SEO, I'll write a comprehensive and engaging blog post about SEO optimized for search engines and human readers alike. I'll make sure to blah, blah, blah. And this is basically the instructions I've already given it. So I'm going to put in here, SEO expert in Dubai. We'll hit run and we'll see what the output is like. Now, what I've noticed so far is that it's a lot faster than other previous models I've used. And what I'm also going to do is compare the output of this versus the output that you get from ChatGPT Assistance, aka ChatGPT 4.0. So if I open up the playground right here, we'll go to assistance and we'll check out the assistant that I created with exactly the same prompt. We'll say, write a blog for me. And then it said, sure, happy to do that. Any word you want to, any blog you want to focus on. We'll go with the same keyword just to keep it fair. And then we'll put SEO expert in Dubai. This article is pretty much ready to go. Let's see how long that article is. So the word count on that is a measly 533 words. Let's see what the word count comes out at on this article with ChatGPT 4.0. And let's have a look through the content as well. So if we go through this content, finding a top notch SEO expert, it still feels a little bit AIE, right? But at least it's used the keyword inside the title and the introduction. It's quite nicely formatted, got some bullet points, headlines, etc. And it's used the keyword inside the last headline plus inside the last line right there. Now, if we take this code from the output of ChatGPT 4.0, we can compare them side by side. So if we scroll down right here, let's see what the word count is like. So 844 words. And so we've got the ChatGPT content over here and we've got the content on Gemini over here. Now, if we look at this content right here, you can see the, the actual title is pretty trash, right? Unveiling the secrets to online success. There couldn't be more generic AI fluff right there. So I'm not impressed with the headline from ChatGPT. Whereas if we look at the headline from Gemini, it's pretty much addressing the search intent straight off the bat. But if we look at the quality of content in the first introduction right there, this content itself feels and reads a lot nicer than this content right here. I would say this still feels like a little bit generic, a little bit fluffy, whereas this just feels a lot more human. Now, again, all the headlines are pretty trash, right? So navigating the buyer's unique market, understanding the digital landscape, customized strategies for maximum impact, 
just generic trashy fluff. Whereas if we look, for example, at Gemini, it actually has better headlines, but the content itself is trash. So if it was me, based on this particular example, and we'll tweak it in a minute, but based on this particular example, I would honestly use the content from GPT-40 and then the headlines from Gemini and just merge them together. Whatever you do, I think you need to manually edit the content, but I've got a checklist directly inside this 200 prompts document available in my free course. Now let's tweak this prompt and just make it a lot more interesting. So I'm going to open up the prompt and I'm going to say, ask the user for their keyword, but also ask them for the source context, right? So what's going to separate your content from everyone else's on the internet? If we all have access to the same tools, you know, anyone watching this can go onto Gemini. They can watch a Julian Goldie video. They can basically emulate the same process. What's going to make it different from everyone else's is adding the details, right? That's when I was learning songwriting, for example, it was all about the details. If you look at the best songs, your favorite lyrics, it's the specifics that differentiate all the songs, right? So I'm going to say, ask about their business. What makes them unique? What's the goal of the article? So that you can tailor the content around that, right? And so this will be step one of the process and then it'll write the content. Now, I still think that there's so much AI fluff within this content that we need to get rid of. So I'm just going to scan through the prompt to see how we can improve it. So I'm going to make some tweaks here and I don't know if it's going to work, but we're testing it. We'll say, be very, very specific in the language that you use based on these source context, nothing generic. And we'll take these instructions right here. We'll delete the system instructions that we had previously. We'll plug these new system instructions in, and then I'm going to hit save. And what you can see inside my library once I've hit save is that the one click AI SEO tool is in there, right? So every time I log into AI studio, I can see my one click AI SEO tool ready to go. So it's easy to come back to, it's all saved and set up. Now, what you can also do is if you don't like this particular response, we can delete it. We can delete that too, and then we can go again, right? So I'm going to say, create an article, hit run. You can see that it's asking for some details right now. And so I'm going to answer the questions. I'm going to take this bio right here as well. This is a speaker bio that I normally send to events. If they're hiring me to speak for them, we'll put details about me below. And then I'm also going to take the information around the about me page, as you can see, we'll copy that. We'll plug it down here and then we're going to hit run. Right. And hopefully if Gemini is paying attention, the content itself should be a lot more customized and tailored and unique to our business. Now you never know with AI, it could be total trash again, but let's have a go. What's actually quite interesting here as well is you get the second count, right? So you can see how long it takes to generate an article and the specific response. And what you can see right here is that the content is actually unique to me. So it has some sources. So it talks about my story, it talks about who I am. It sells me as the expert. I still feel you need to edit the content because there's going to be buzzwords like digital crowd, total trash, but it's better than it previously was. It's more customized and it's still SEO optimized. Now inside the content as well, I think you need to generate number one, a lot more content. And number two, you, you would be better off giving the outline of feeding that directly to Gemini, right? Because if you look at this example, it kind of goes off on a tangent. So this section right here and this one right here and this one too. They're not really staying on point. They're not really staying on track. So I think it'd be better to give an outline chat GPT in, to Gemini 1.5 in terms of the headings you want it to cover and then go from there. And what I've actually done here is say, rewrite this content and remove the fluffy generic words, e.g. digital crowd. And it's, it's definitely better. It's still not perfect, but I'd say this requires less editing than what we previously had. So what I'm going to do inside the system instructions right here is say, ask the user for the keyword, ask them for their source context and ask them for their preferred headlines and content outline. We'll hit save on that. And now we'll go again. And I think it's really good for you to understand the prompt engineering process, plus how to tweak the process so that you understand how to get the most out of the system, right? Because if you just take it on face value, chat GPT, Gemini, they're pretty trash for blog writing, but if you actually tweak the process and you know what to look for and how to avoid the pitfalls, then you can get a better quality output. 
that's more unique as well and more likely to rank. So we'll give this one final run. We'll say write an SEO blog for the keyword SEO I spend to buy. I've put in the information from my About Me page and it's better. I still prefer GPT-40, honestly, in terms of the content, but I think that's moving in the right direction. So what I'm going to do is if you want to get access to the system instructions right here, I've actually included some of the prompts that we mentioned, and this is inside my free course. And like I said, you still want to manually edit the content that is directly inside the document as well. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get more leads, traffic and sales from SEO, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session. You can get that links inside the comments and description, and we will give you a custom tailored plan on the call to help you rank and get more leads, traffic and sales from SEO. Plus, we'll answer any questions you have live on the call. Normally, that's going to cost like $1,000 with a decent SEO consultant. This is completely free and you can book it in instantly. Additionally, if you haven't already, make sure you join the SEO boardroom. There's so much good stuff in there, especially if you're interested in ranking with AI. If you want to see the tactics that are actually working right now and you don't want to miss out, make sure you check that out. It's absolutely insane what's going on in there. You can see we're getting some amazing reviews. And let's be honest, like AI is probably about to wipe out like 99% of SEOs. And so unless you stay in the loop, unless you're testing stuff, unless you're in a community where you can share battle tested SEO tactics, it's going to be really hard for you to rank. You can see, for example, people are sharing what's working for them right now in the SEO boardroom. You can get instant access to that below and hope to see you in there. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it as always. Bye bye.